I thought that I was making it up. I was like, ain't no way. The monkey's off my back in daddy's home. I don't really know why I said that. It kind of just came out of me, it just felt right. Daddy's home, uh, Iggy had a stellar weekend. The monkey's off my back in daddy's home, just so you know, Big Papa Jimmy. Yeah, that's me, I'm Big Papa. James Ignatowicz, we've talked about how well this guy is playing this weekend. I think he's been clutch at the big moments, number one, and then secondly, that two-handed backhand has just been absolutely deadly. Singles was easy, you know, I mean, the singles was like, J-Dub kind of was asleep in the final. A beautiful read from James Ignatowicz. Point. So game number one to James Ignatowicz. He kind of handed it to me there. That's impressive. Oh my goodness. I was making my passing shots. I was hitting big serves. Wow. Big Papa Jimmy. I got lucky, I think, in a, in a couple ways, but you know, I was just loud enough about it so that people thought it was all me. I think it was Definitely a great opportunity to play with Catherine. That was my first experience getting to play with a truly elite mixed player. Tim and Catherine, you know, uh, ran through the whole draw, uh, took out the Johnsons in three, uh, took out Anna. Uh-oh! So well done by Parento. A wide lane! I was a little nervous at first. I was like, okay, you know, I really don't want to mess this up. just too fast. Shut up. Yeah, it has such a lively arm to be able to put that final shot away. And that Six is paddle one. head speed right there. But Catherine played pretty stinking well in that mix match. And I think, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, James did his thing, but Catherine was a complete rock. And it, and it kind of showed a little bit that, you know, I don't know, but I mean, maybe not as a whole, but in that particular match, I felt like Catherine's level was a great above Anna's. I played pretty well. I think she was, probably the best part of that team, actually. I think I was the loudest. So much to watch here in a bright to serve. Let's play pickleball. Playing against Anna and Riley in the semis, that match was probably the most memorable pickleball match um, of my life, I think. Wow. Yeah! And Ignatowicz keeps it in the court. What a rally that was. <laughs> it shows what it takes to win a point out here. Going into the year, when I saw that they committed to play with each other, I was like, oh God, I'm gonna lose to Anna all year. What a shot from Anna Bright. So I went, I went hard, I got loud. Onto it, some offensive options. We were up, I think, 9-1 in the third game. Yeah, she's allowed a sorry <laughs> to her partner right there, but they don't want to give it back, not getting anything. There's too much talent on the other side. Keeping him up. And I started cramping in my legs. Oh, it got a miss there, and Matowicz is holding his leg a little bit there. And 
it all started to slip away. and it was like a bad dream. I was like, oh my gosh, like, if I lose this, I don't know what's gonna happen. Luckily, we won. I was shocked that we won. <laughs> Playing against Anna and Mix, we play together now, so I think that does say a lot about the aftermath, right? She was like, oh, I can't handle losing to James. I gotta play with him now. It was fun, I think, the aftermath is really, what all, what's happening on the court kind of stays on the court usually. And what an interesting shape. Don't know if Anna likes playing James, but um, you know, I mean, I mean that, could, that could be a tough scenario. I, mean, I don't know, I don't know the head to head, but they've played a few other times. And I want to say that, that Anna's gotten the better of them I, I in a lot so, of yeah. those matchups. Right. So I think he was pretty happy about getting closer to uh, evening that, uh, that head to head. Yeah, the monkey was off the back. Daddy was home. Big Papa Jimmy. Big Papa Jimmy. Big Big Papa Jimmy. So that Big Papa Jimmy interview is something that I've been sent maybe 15,000 times on Instagram, text. It's been brought up. It was like there's life before that interview and then there's life after it. And that wasn't my intention at all. The monkey's off my back and daddy's home. Just so you know, Big Papa Jimmy. I've never been referred to as Big Papa Jimmy or Daddy by anyone, not even Anna. Judging by the interview, it seemed like obviously he was pretty happy. Don't know if uh, <laughs> sure. if, if he was able to sleep in her, her bed that night, you know, after that. But uh. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know why I said that. I was just like staring at him because I have like the, you know, commentators on the tennis channel truck in my ear. There's been some times where I've thought, maybe I shouldn't have had that interview. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have said what I said. I watched it back later and was like, oh, so that's what he said. OK. And that's why I say I blacked out, because I don't remember a word he said. The monkey's off my back and daddy's home, just so you know. Uh, Just kicked out. Uh, you're out. You're on the couch. You're in the doghouse. Okay, with Don't the play that beat one. me and then like an interview like that, you are in the doghouse, mister. Ultimately, it was uh, maybe not something I'm proud of, but something I wouldn't change. I think I'm happy that it, it happened the way that it did.